Baby, my hair is out. Can you tell? everybody in between I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 girl I don't forgot what day it was wine and wigs day cheers girl no wine just tea hello girl whatever day it is we got some new hair on our head and it's not a wig shout out to me well, hopefully y'all are doing great today obviously I'm doing well because baby my hair is out can you tell oh. <laughs> guess who still got hair on their head after wearing all them wigs me y'all didn't think I would survive <laughs> It was a struggle, but still, baby, look at this hair on my head. Look, 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 look. Come on, shout out to the dude grow in the sofa eight. <laughs> I ain't been using none of that, girl. I got some good clip-ins, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it first. I would like to say hi, how are you? Hopefully you're doing well. Obviously I'm doing fantastic. Y'all let me know what you're drinking. Obviously there's no alcohol in here because I'm a responsible adult. Like, I'm feeling like, oh, y'all saw that? <laughs> that was my itches. Come on. I don't know what it is about clip-ins, but clip-ins feel like an elite club that I never could be a part of until today or like last week. <laughs> Look at how full, luscious, and everything they are. And I don't have no edges out on these clip-ins. Ah! But before we get into that, can I ask y'all, could you please subscribe, hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with a brand new wig. Also, just leave a comment down below and say you like me or something. Let's go ahead and get into this hair that's on my head. And I would like to say thank you to Curls Queen for providing this hair to me and sponsoring this video. And if you know anything about my natural hair, jump scare girl. My natural hair, <laughs> she'll be into it. Okay, my natural hair don't want nothing to do with being out in, in the natural air. I was able to experiment with two types of hair and we're gonna try two types of hair today, two types of curls. We tried out both and then we mixed the two. It's a little trick I've been doing for years. If you watched me before, you've always known that I love to mix my bundles. So I'll start with my first bundle. I got two bundles of the Natural Curly Invisi Seamless Wefts in the texture 3A, 3B and they are 18 inches long. It has more of a machine curl texture, but once you moisturize the hair, the curl pattern comes to life. Now, the next bundles that I have are water curly wefts. They are in the 3A, 3B texture, and they are also 18 inches long. They also come with the upgraded Invisi Seamless wefts. This texture is so soft right out of the pack that it is insane. And once you moisturize it, it kind of stretches out a bit, but these curls already come out the pack juicy and kind of messy. And I love the messy, messy curl of the water curly wefts. Both of these bundles feature wefts that are really, really flat and seamless. The Invisi Seamless Wefts allow for your clippings to lay flat, almost like a tape-in. You won't see a track through your hair. That's what they claim and that's what we're gonna test out today. So my goal with trying out these wefts was baby first to get them in my head. I like to install my clippings with minimal, very, very minimal leave out. No leave out on the edges, no leave out in the back. What I'm going to be doing today is trying out both curl types just so we can see which one is gonna work best for us and then mixing the two together to get this look here, okay? Basically, it's a sew-in with no braids. A sew-in with no thread. A sew-in with no expertise, girl. <laughs> if you wanna see how I installed these clip-ins and how I got them to look like this, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this hair. Now, my hair, girl, I just washed it last night and I put it up in like little twists. I don't know what it's gonna look like when we take it out, but it ain't about this hair. It's about the hair that we got here. So, as I explained before, we're working with two textures of bundles. I'm gonna start with one, and then we're gonna work on the other one. So this is the first bundle. This is a natural curly bundle in the 3A, 3B texture. This is what it looks like. It is pretty long. Like this is much longer than I thought it was. It's 18 inches, and I want to see what this hair looks like once you add mousse to it and you actually get some texture to it. So I'm gonna add the mousse to it now and allow it to dry and then see what it looks like afterwards. So once we install it, it's already moisturized and ready to go because although this curl pattern is nice, y'all know I don't like a machine curl pattern. I wanna see what it looks like once you brush it through. But I'm only gonna add mousse to one bundle and then we'll see if it'll give me a full head. But first, let me cut off this. Uh, when I tell y'all I'm so nervous, 
So I'm gonna start with the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse, and I'm gonna use that to add to this hair. Now, I was gonna wash these bundles, but baby, that takes too much time. This is 215 grams of hair. And how many grams do you need for a full head? I don't know. So I'm just gonna add the mousse all over the hair, and then brush the bundles through with the Curls Queen, Curls Queen brush that they provide. Oh. So the natural curly hair is dry. It was mostly dry. I think it's like, what, 90? It's like 90% dry. So this is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. There is a difference when you actually moisturize those curls. Like, look at them. Y'all know what I be talking about. I'm gonna start by applying that one first, but we're gonna prep our base. I'm gonna take my hair out, right? And I'm gonna need y'all to keep it. My hair out. My hair is a like little twist because I wash my hair last night. So um I just twisted it. Girl, my hair is very, very fine, but it is healthy-ish. You know what I'm saying? So um, this is what it look like. Baby, this is about to be a transformation. I'm about to be a brand new girl. Okay, so look. <laughs> First, what we're gonna do is prep our base. Now, if you know anything about me, I try and leave out as little hair as possible. I'm gonna leave out, yeah, I think this is the section. And I like to part my fingers, because parting with a comb don't really work out. I don't know why, it just don't. Why am I so hungry? Okay, I'm gonna part the same way on this side. Boom, boom. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist away my natural hair, or I can bantu knot it, I guess. And twist it like this. Get this hair out of the way, and then we get to work with the back of the hair, girl. This is gonna be real simple and easy, girl. I don't be doing too much. I'm gonna bantu knot that away. I guess I use my Evolve 572 brush, my detangling brush. I'm just gonna brush this hair back. If it frizzes out, that don't matter. So I'm gonna use my She Is Bomb Fast Drying Edge Control. And I'm gonna use this to like lay down my hair. So we already brushed it through. Oh, not the edges. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I did not mean to do that. Oops. Oh well. And I feel like the edge control helps to keep the clips in there. I don't know. But my dry hair will be flying all over the place. <laughs> because it's just so, you know, it's just a little brittle. Oh, and then I'm gonna take a little rubber band. This is like just a little tiny little rubber band. Girl, I ain't got a lot of hair. So you can use a hair tie or whatever. Pull this hair back. I'm gonna take this in my ponytail and twist it. And then pull it up and then pin it at the back of my hair. Where's my? Bobby pin. I have one. It was just in my head, girl. Pin it up. Period. So I'm gonna open up these natural curly clips. This is the natural curly texture. Okay, so these are all the clips. Oh yeah, it's wet in there. Oh, I don't know if I should have done this the way I had did it. <laughs> we have two, five clips, two, four clips, two, three clips, and four, two clips. Show y'all what it looks like. This is the upgraded Invisit Seamless Weft. So it's like flat, super duper flat. There is no tracks and it's supposed to lay flat to your head and you won't be able to see it. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. So we're gonna start with the three clips. I'm gonna take a look at these clips. So these clips are my favorite type of clips for clip-ins because they are like the U-shaped clips. They're not the ones with the actual teeth because them things, baby, they would take out your hair. They would snatch it like you took that man. We're going to unsnap all three and I'm going to see if I can put this at the back of the head. Usually I start with a two clip. I don't know if you ever hear me. Usually I start with a two clip, but this time I'm going to start with a three. So we're going to put the three clip in under the ponytail. Oh girl, that's secure. Oh, 
How it look? How it look, friend? It look good. I got two bundles, but I'm wondering if one full bundle can cover a head, so. Okay, got my four clip. One five clip, clip it over top. Starting in the middle. Clip, clip. Clip. And then clip. Okay, now I'm gonna start mixing clips. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one four clip and one three clip. So one four clip and start at the edge here. Two, three, four. Oh girl. I'm gonna take another five clip and put it in. Oh, that's a little tight, what I did right there. So far, it's looking cute, hold on. It's gonna do one two clip here, another two clip on this side. Okay. Then I have another two clip right at the top. It definitely is a full head. I don't know how I like, if I like how I installed it, but I wanna see like what it looks like if I let my hair out. Like, does it cover? Ooh, ooh. The hair looks pretty, but I don't feel like this curl texture should be at the top. I love the texture. I think this is very, very pretty, but I think once we mix the two, you'll see what I'm talking about. And we'll have a lot more tracks to work with. So, let's try the second type and see what that looks like alone and then we're gonna go ahead and mix them together. But I'm just gonna blend it in like a little bit <laughs> so it don't look so crazy. But y'all don't worry, we're gonna end up mixing the two together and it's gonna look so much better. I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like. This is not the finished look, oh my God. <laughs> what if I walked out the door like this? What would y'all say to me? I'm gonna try the water, color, cu the water curly clip-ins and see what those look like alone and then we'll figure out how we're gonna mix the two because once you mix them, babe, I'm telling you, you're gonna love it, okay? So let me go ahead and take these out and let's start with the other ones. So let's pop these out. Okay y'all, so those clips are out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try the second set and then we're gonna put them together and see what we get. Okay, so this is what the water curly looks like after adding the mousse to it. So this is after, this is before. I don't think the water curly texture needs mousse or anything to it because look at, like this is the mousse. This is not mousse, but look at how nice and natural those curls look without the mousse. Girl, I could have left it alone. Which side do you like better, with the mousse or without the mousse? With the mousse, without the mousse. So let's unwrap these and see. I think they should have the same amount of sets, which is two five clips, two four clips, two three clips, and four two clips. So this bundle is the Water Curly Bundle. It is a 3A, 3B texture. The upgraded Invisis Seamless Weft, and it's 18 inches long. So it's the same length and the same curl type as the Natural Curly Clips. So, okay, so we're gonna get to clipping in. Once again, we're gonna start at the bottom, probably with a three clip, and then work our way up to the top. Or maybe I'll work with a two clip. Either way, we're gonna see what the full head looks like with this texture. And then we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and mix the two. And baby, I know when we mix the two, it's gonna eat. Let's start from the bottom, work our way up to the top. Wow, okay, so, <laughs> wait, how's it look in the back? Girl, can you see? I can't see, how's it look in the back? <laughs> how's it look in the back, can you see your track? Wow, this hair, the water curly is everything. I don't even know if I wanna mix the two textures. I think I can just to get like a fuller look, but as far as how it looks right now, the water curly is my favorite texture. But we'll see how they look together, especially if you want like a fuller look, maybe you can buy one of each. But, okay. 
so once I blend these two, oh, this is gonna blend. So the reason why it looks a little bit better is because the roots of the water clippings, the water texture clippings, it has a little bit more of a wave at the top. So it doesn't look so flat. So I definitely like this texture better. This is a fake blend, girl. This ain't no real blend. Don't pay attention. Oh, this is pretty. <gasps> oh, I love it. Now, the only thing about these clips is that the seams, although they're seamless because they're shiny and flat, my hair is very, very thin. Baby, I feel like you can see through it. Like a windshield. <laughs> I'll make it blend, friend. But the way this is looking, fantabulous. I love it. I think two bundles probably works better than one, even though one is enough for like a natural curl. But baby, I don't want natural. I want thick. Okay, I want it, I want it milkshake thick. Y'all see the back? See what I'm talking about with this track right here? It's folded weird and my hair is thin. I don't got enough hair to cover that up. So, I don't know. But look how pretty it is from the side. Baby, one bundle is enough of this one. Once we mix these two, it's gonna be eating. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and then switch out and mix both textures so you can see what it looks like. And then we can get into doing that finished look and blending my actual leave out into the hair. I need to take away some leave out. So I left too much leave out out. So I'm gonna pull some of this back, honey. Okay, so I'm leaving out less leave out. And I think the good thing about these uh, clips is that I can do less leave out, but I'm a little bit concerned because I'm hoping that it covers what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna have to leave a little bit extra out in the back. But I don't want to leave too much out because it was just so hard to blend. I'm just gonna brush this back. Just gonna leave out those little baby edges over there. Baby, I definitely shouldn't have put wax all up and through here. Oh, why my edges look so thin over there? Hold on, child. Oh, they thin on both sides. Okay, girl, they better be even. I'm gonna do a ponytail in the back, but this time, because the hair is gonna be so thick, I'm just gonna leave the ponytail out. I'm not gonna pin it up because I think it gets in the way of me clipping the hair. Because ain't nobody gonna see that, or you can twist it up and put it in a bun or something. Well, I'm gonna just turn it into a little mini bun like this. I don't think that'll get in the way of anything. And if it come a loose, girl, it come a loose, who cares? Now we can get to clipping. So, so at the top, I'm going to be using mostly the water. For the bottom, I'm going to be using the natural curly. So, um, but I'm gonna be mixing in the textures in between, but it's gonna be water wave heavy at the top. So I'm gonna work through, starting at the bottom. I'm gonna start with the two clip for the natural curly. At the very bottom, two clip. Oh, be careful. Okay. I'm gonna do a three clip of the natural curly. Okay, I'm gonna clip it over the bun. Okay, two of those. One, two, three, four. A four clip of the water wave. And let's see, a five clip of the water curly. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with a, another five clip of the natural curly. Oh baby, I need to get them sides. I'm gonna take a four clip and a three clip and we're gonna go across the very middle of the forehead. This is the biggest part and this is the natural curly. Okay, so I'm gonna clip it into the side. So on both sides, this one's in the edges, child. I'm gonna do a three and a three. Baby, you see how this is filling out? Baby, it's filling out. It's gonna be real thick. Be careful on them edges, girl. Yeah, this is right. Three and three. Oh, baby, that is full. Do y'all see how that looks, what I'm talking about with mixing the textures? And then I'm gonna take the five clip. Hopefully, this one wraps all the way around. Great. And then I'm going to go in with these two clips. Probably need to pull that one on up. Baby, that one is back too far into the parking spot. <laughs> Hold on, let me get closer. Okay, I'm going to put a two clip right here. <gasps> Look how full this is. Baby, this is full, full. Oh, and I love it. I think I want to 
add a little bit of mousse to the bottom to meld the two. But as far as how it looks, y'all can't tell but this don't look good. Now the back is the one part I have an issue with because these, the wefts are like tape. When they bend, it wrinkles like paper. It doesn't bend like a track where it will bend like this. If it bends, it has that wrinkle there, you see? Do it like this. So picture that being on top of my head. It kind of comes up off your head like mine is right now. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all tell me the truth. Can you see it? Can I move it like this? And just stack another one on top of this? Hold on. Okay, I got one in there. Hold on. See, this is why I ain't got no hair. Y'all be trying to figure out why I ain't got no hair. It's because of it this. It's because of me. Because I be doing foolishness like this. I know that clip gonna pop up, but let's see. Ooh, there's more hair to cover up. Miss, okay. I like that better. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can add. Where the other clip go? Then baby, not stacking clips and M. Cl stacking clips, babes. It's where we are now. When you got thin hair, you gotta stack them clip ons on top of each other. Like some lashes, okay? It's hype too. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so this is cute. Now the back, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Don't go out there, nothing if you bucking or none of that because that clip is gonna pop right out. Okay y'all, so this is the product that I like to use to curl, to do finger coils on my natural hair. It's a thick cream, but it doesn't revert my hair really, really fast because it's not water-based. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair activator cream. Girl, I do not like using this stuff because I think I break out. And now's not the time <laughs> to be playing with my skin because if you know, I've been going through it with my skin. Hello? I just take a teeny, I mean, you talk about a teeny, tiny, little dibble, drabble, dibble, wibble, nibble of it and add it to the hair. And I want to keep my roots puffy. I need it to cover up some shiny tracks. I wish it was like a little bit more matte. So I just finger coil and then I loosen it. And that's how I get my little curls. To match, you can't even tell girl, where the curl go. But I'm gonna work in teeny tiny sections and curl, finger coil my hair. So let's keep going. drying and the ends are drying I'm gonna go ahead and lay down baby hairs on the edges okay so I already have some baby hairs already laid down and I actually like how they look I don't want them to be too perfect it's gonna bring them forward like that take this one right here just lay it like that go lay that down What was I trying, y'all, every single time I try and do that weird little baby hair thing that the people can do, I be wanting to do it. But every time I try and do it, baby, it look crazy. See if I can, I ain't got enough hair for that. So the ends are drying. I'm gonna take the diffuser to it just a little bit more, but I don't know if I like how this is looking. Do they look like something? Why am I so greasy? Anyway, so in order to blend, these curls into these tracks I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold it behind and underneath the next curl sometimes I'll do all three curls and just twist it so it doesn't pop out but I just twist it into the other curls make sure she don't go nowhere and I take every little individual curl and I just tuck it under the track curl under it. You see that? Blending, they're not sticking out. Taking each curl and doing that all the way around. Then I'm gonna dry the hair completely. 
And then that'll be it, but look. This is how, yeah, this is how I'm doing. Okay, I'm hopping in just to show y'all how versatile this install is. I never was able to try it with the straight hair, but with the curly hair, I noticed I could flip this over and baby, where are the tracks? Can you see them? I think because they're seamless, you're not able to see the tracks. It looks so good. I tried different styles even after filming this video and was like, well, I tried another flip over method and it looks so good. So this is versatile. If you try it out, let me know. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. Like, look at these curls. They are so pretty. And, girl, no edges out, period. Who, who, what edges, where? Amazing. I think the combination of blending the two styles, the 3A, 3B natural curly and the 3A, 3B water curly, amazing. I think one pack is enough if you have thicker hair and you're leaving some hair out in between. But if you do have finer hair, and you want a fuller look and you're not leaving hair out in between, I think maybe getting two packs of whatever style would make it look much fuller. So I didn't use the full two packs. I have this much hair left of the clip-ins. So I didn't use the full two packs, but I used about a pack and a half or a pack and a third, a couple, yeah, a pack and a half of the clips. And that's how I ended up getting this look and mixing the two is amazing. This is how you get like a really, really natural curl. It's like full. And this is how I've been doing my hair forever, baby. When I tell you it eats, it eats. Now I must show y'all what it looks like in the back. Can you see, hold on, you see the track? Hold on, <laughs> baby, where's the mirror? There you go, that's better. I can't spread my hair out, girl. I ain't got enough hair for this. If you got thicker hair than me, baby, you're in there, but this is what it looks like on the top. Can y'all see a track? I don't think you can. Can you see a track on the top? Usually it's hard for me to blend my hair into them or it isn't thick enough or something like that. And with this one, it looks so natural. It looks so realistic. They're super easy to install and they're really, really flat. Now, I wanna get into the pros and cons of these clip-ins. Now, first I'm gonna say all the pros. I think that these clip-ins are soft and they're very, very well made. I didn't experience a lot of shedding at all. It was a little bit of shedding, but not too much. I do feel like the water curly is much softer and bouncier. But the water curly is just, it's such a beautiful curl that doesn't even really need water, girl. Let me sweat, let me water. What's that song? I think they're easy to install. They're really, really thick and they do give you a lot of hair. The upgraded Invisa Seamless wefts are so flat and they are seamless to a point. I do think they're seamless and they lay very flat and it holds a lot of hair. So I do love that about them, but let's get into the cons. The seamless wefts are, although they are flat, the shine for my hair type and how flat they are, it's a little bit difficult for me to conceal for my hair not to poke through and how they fold like I told you before it folds odd so if you're going to fold one like and it's going around the curve of your head make sure it's lower on the head like down here because if it's higher it's gonna poke up I don't think it's as seamless with around the curve so just be strategic on how you place these clips as far as like what they look like I think it just like literally I don't see anything if y'all see something tell me okay but I don't see nothing right now and the weft is right there. It's shiny, but it's still blendable. And if it's blendable in my thin hair, then they're still very, very blendable. But all in all, I absolutely love this hair. It is so gorgeous. It looks so good, it looks so realistic, and it's not heavy, it's not pulling. I think I have, I think the parts that kind of have a little bit more tension is where I stack the clips, girl. But that's expected, girl. I put a clip on a clip. <laughs> Y'all tell me what you think. If you have tried them out, please let me know. Baby, this was a labor of love. It is almost midnight. And I started when it was daytime. What have I been doing? Eating noodles, stressing out, 
Girl, I've been sitting here staring into the abyss trying to figure out how am I gonna do this hair? Y'all tell me what you think down below. I wanna say thank you again to Curls Queen for providing these clip-ins to me and sponsoring this video. I'll leave a link for the clip-ins that I've used down below. I have all the details down below. I also will leave a coupon code down below as well so you can go ahead and get some money off because I feel like it's rude not to have a coupon code. You know, like, what are we doing here? I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.